Welcome to the Brokers, Brokers Open, Open Podcast. Podcast. On this episode of Brokers Open Podcast, Matt and Justin are on location at Berkshire Hathaway's convention in Las Vegas. Hey guys, this episode is brought to you by our friends at Palm Media. Palm Media is a boutique digital marketing company built for realtors by realtors. They help agents and teams dominate a target market with specific tailored strategies. Everything from video, chatbots, landing pages, Facebook ads, database management, and coaching. And oh my gosh, it's way more affordable and simple than you can ever imagine. Call now for a 100% free strategy session, whether you have a budget or not. Dr. Ben, my good friend, will make sure that you are heading in the right direction and building your presence online or flat out crushing your competition. Before you spend a dime on marketing, door knocking, or sending out postcards, call Palm Media, 813-765-7706. I repeat, 813-765-7706, or click the link on the description below and manifest your paradise. How's it going, Justin? I am tired. But I'm happy. I got a lot out of this uh, couple days. It has been it has been absolutely fantastic, and it's been whirlwind. Not just the late night stuff, but the early morning sessions too, because both sessions, the general sessions, were were fabulous for two completely different reasons. 100 percent. Yeah. I mean, what I, I've just where are we right now? You know, we're uh, we're in Vegas, and who are we right now? We're Brokers Open Podcast, right? <laughs> That's right. That's right. right. So, uh, so we're here under the, uh, I don't know if they can see it, maybe you can see the bottom of it down there. We're sitting under the Eiffel Tower. How cool is that? We're, in, we're at the Eiffel Tower in Paris, Las Vegas, that is. <laughs> That's important to know. <laughs> little, subtitle, <laughs> little subtitle there, Paris, Las Vegas. We got a little construction going on in the hotel right. room, so that's made sleeping a little bit interesting, but yeah. you know what? You don't, it's perseverance. It is. Indomitable spirit. Yeah. Indomitable like spirit. It. People moved their rooms, moved up floors so that they could get rid of it, but you know what? Not I, us. It was a challenge. We slept through it. We had to have some type of, of something going through our body, coursing through our body that allowed us to sleep through <laughs> cameras at 3 a.m. However. So, now, yeah, moving forward. <laughs> so, uh, so we talked about the general sessions. Both of the general sessions were fantastic for two different reasons. So cool. Yeah, so Alice and Levine, the first day, I mean, the, so Gino gets up and talks about a bunch of wonderful stuff. Puts uh, puts what what our culture is out there. What we've talked about with the past few guests, same exact thing. Yeah, and uh, he gets up there and talks about it, and then Allison Levine gets up there. Yeah, she's killer. I so, mean, I had never heard Allison Levine's story, I and never. I don't know if if the listeners have have. Um, but give me give me a little like quick rundown on Allison Levine and, and that and we'll go into that. She is uh, so she wrote a book and it's all about it. It's all about uh, mountain climbing is what it basically boils down. And and uh, we don't want to ruin this for anybody. Right. But she gets into leadership lessons that she learned as she was climbing Mount Everest and getting to the summit of, of Mount Everest. And she went through some things in her personal life that made it difficult. There was there was just a lot going on and she with a huge smile on her face with ridiculous indomitable spirit. I tell you, I mean, I, I, I was not prepared for that story, to I be agree. honest. It kind of caught me off guard. I, I wasn't agree. ready for that yesterday. And um, man, that is, that's fighting spirit. That, that story, uh, like you said, I don't want to ruin it. I want people to go and read that book because she is... We'll put the info in the book in the, in the description, okay? Guys? Yeah. So. And she, she's just the epitome of, of an off, awesome Fantastic. person and, uh, you know... Great leadership lessons. Yeah, yeah. And you know, she, she didn't want to be a leader. Uh, that's not ruining the book. She'll go into that very early on, and if you can, I think she's on a, I think she's on YouTube too, so you can get some information for her on there too. But yeah. you know, she didn't want to be a leader. Ended up, ended up needing to be one, and has, you know, the lessons are just incredible lessons. So, I so, tell you though, we've we've gotten like so, we've gotten some really good exposure to all of the other networks within Berkshire Hathaway absolutely. Home Services network and all the other brokerages and we're meeting a lot of people which is great but what I really really enjoy is in the general sessions in the morning is understanding people's backgrounds and some of these people are doing ridiculous sales numbers ridiculous volume ridiculous units I mean what was the one unit today so so there was a couple of them that were stingers so so one company did 33,000 units that That's is insane. just incredible we're, we're a, a billion dollar company and we were nowhere near that it just it's it blows me away that uh, you can have that kind of impact in a local community 
I mean, they, they own that market share, which Absolutely. is really, really neat. And there was one team that did like 660 units last year. Can Annual. you imagine doing 660 units? That is a lot of units. That is a lot of units. And again, sticking with who they are. That was, you know, when he spoke for just a second and he and that guy also spoke in some of the, Jeff spoke in some of the general sessions. You know, he talked about him and his team being true beyond the transaction right. and it being about the customer and what's best for the customer versus it being about the about the transaction. That's a, that's our support staff. Since Jason and Ben couldn't be here, you know, that's our support staff. They got our backs. So. Oh, we forgot our little blurb about Paul Media. What's up, guys? <laughs> um, no, but it's it's really really um, it fired me up. I know it's going to fire all the agents up and all the brokers to uh, to really just try time. to push the envelope. But like, there was one team, and obviously this I just love seeing this. But one team did 6.6 6 million in gross or in GCI, and I was like. Holy smokes! That's a lot of that's a commit. That's a lot of commission income. That is some cheddar. So that is. That I mean, is. it's just inspiring all around. Yeah. I mean, as of as of right now, though, we've been in a lot of sessions. We've heard a lot of speakers. I got the most fired up about uh, Carmine Gallo. Yeah. And I wasn't expecting. I know you that. would. I know you're going to say that. Yeah. <laughs> so I went into it. I went into an hour session with Carmine Gallo, and there was a, a lot of other people in there, obviously. And uh, the title was communication from good to great. And the long story short of it is storytelling. Yeah. The people who know um, your story. Because. Right. Exactly. The the most successful people out there, they were talking about, you know, Warren Buffett and everything that he does. He always tells a story or he uses a metaphor for what he does. And uh, I took so many copious notes on that, but I have one quote that I really, really like from Steve Steve Jobs. People with passion can change the world for the better. Oh, yeah. I thought that was pretty sweet. That's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, that's fantastic. So that was your favorite session, right? Oh, by far. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah. I, I really loved it. I mean, yeah. I really, really liked this morning, though, too, with, um, what's uh, his name? Yeah, Chris Stewart. Chris Stewart. Yeah, that was that was absolutely fantastic. You know, he got out there, and so, you know, we, we touched on this. Who's Chris Stewart? So he's this. Uh, so he's the CEO of, uh, of HSF Affiliates, Berkshire Hathaway. Right. So, uh, so he got up there and he talked about the disruptors in the market, okay? Because that's, of course, you know what we've all heard about, and and he kind of laughed it off. Yeah, it was awesome. So, you know, he talked about there being important things going on that were helping agents leverage things in the market, right? But the true disruptors in the market were the people saying that there was so much disruption. Yeah. And so he went over the numbers to, to, to prove that. And uh, and we'll have to talk about this more in a, in a, in a different session. We should actually kind of break down and, and go through all I'd of that. I'd love to. But, uh, but you know, he uh, and you, you've got a, a, a master's in finance, right, in mathematics, yeah. so that you, were, you were digging all of that, right? Yeah. I mean, I thought it was really neat. But what I liked what he said about disruptors, because a, a lot of people try either to avoid the conversation altogether when it comes to real estate dis disruptors, or they come up with some BS right? that makes no sense. Yeah. And what he did is he tackled it head on. He did. Um, he did. I thought that that was really neat. But what, what's interesting is that at the end of the whole thing, obviously there's going to be technology that is going to come in and really, really help agents' lives, but it's all about the agent and the relationship. Right and the service and, and the technology is just a fulcrum on the on the lever is what it is what he was basically saying it helps and it allows you to move more and everything but it has to be you being the connection moving through the transaction with the person the technology is not going to replace that and, I mean we sincerely believe that yeah. all of our guests believe that yeah you know I mean and so it's not that uh, it's not the technology doesn't help generate you know opportunities and connect and, and everything but it is a it is an extension of us not a replacement of us was his message which and and he did it from a very logical standpoint he Absolutely. didn't do it from hey i feel this way and so it's not going to happen he got out there and you know one of the things he said about it he said about disruptors is he said you know they're either they're either uninformed or they're over informed yeah yeah and so and so you know they get out there and they talk about all the things that they're going to change and what they're going to make it different and everything or they rip down the, the statistics into this one thing that they think is going to make a difference in the market and so and, and you know he pointed out Amazon bought Whole Foods I was just gonna bring that up I think that was I thought that was so cool he was you know Amazon being the ultimate disruptor of, of everything of commerce retail, right yeah and he was saying, "Listen, he, they bought Whole Foods for the simple fact of the experience. And obviously, they're gonna, you know, they're gonna channel some of Whole Foods stuff online. Absolutely. Um, but I thought that that was a great example. The humanity of it is what yeah. he talked about. Which yeah. Was, which was fantastic. Yeah. So, uh, so I went to a couple of sessions. Uh, one of the the last sessions I went to, uh, one of the quotes that came out of it was absolutely a fantastic quote. 
which is a common theme with us, of course. You know, they said to uh, if if your uh, if your uninformed no, informed is kind, uninformed is unkind. Oh, I never thought of it that way. So they talk about clarity. Yeah. And so when you're communicating with people, if you're not informing them, if there's not clarity in the communication, that's not doing them any that's not doing them any justice. Right. And and he talked for 15 minutes about it. Right. And uh, and and he you know gave a story about a conversation he was having with a couple of team leaders, which you know there was great information for uh, for team leaders in there. And and you know he was talking about some businesses that he owned before he got into real estate, and he said all of his major problems that that came up all came from the there not being clarity in the conversation and the communication. That's what I always say to my agents is, I would rather you over communicate and set expectations from the beginning than, than drop the ball. I mean, that, that's, that's so, so important. Everybody we deal with, inside and outside of real estate, yeah. everybody we deal with, you know, you, you've yeah. got your, uh, the, the entrepreneurial people that do really well are ones that slow down and take the time and make sure that they connect with other people right. in a way that, that allows them, one, to figure out what the person's really looking for, right. and two, allows them to realize whether they truly have the solution for what the issue that the person has. Yeah. That's 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 massive. That's, that's cool. Underlying I mean, theme. We've just gotten so much out of it and, and more that's than anything I, I appreciate the bonding with within our the Florida Properties group. I mean yeah. um, obviously Matt and I know each other pretty well but it, it was nice to hang with all the other agents from other offices that we don't quite know yet. A good yeah. example of that is, is Donnie Hathaway out of Matt's yeah. office. I um, him and I sat down for for over an hour yesterday and, I, and, and had so a fantastic talk. So so that you know that's a I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. So the fact that that they that he was able to sit down with you and I know he looks up to you because we've talked about it. But this, the fact that that you sat down and took time without me prompting and saying, "Hey, Justin, when you get a few minutes, can you go over to Donnie and help him out?" And, you know, there, what what you know here's the things that I think he could you know use some help with. But you know, you from your perspective, help him out. I, I didn't have to say that. That's right. that's absolutely huge, by the way, brother. <laughs> and uh, and I and I appreciate you doing that's that's fantastic. And and Donnie's a great agent. All that's going to do is make him better. He's a stud, man. I, he I is. just he's awesome. <laughs> you know, he he's a genuine guy, and um, he's hungry, and that's what I like about him. Because I you know I see a lot of the growing pains that he's going through that yep. I went through, yep. and still a version of what I go through today. So. Um, Kudos to you, Donnie, man. Yep. It's, it's awesome. Good stuff. We yep. had a killer party last night, so <laughs> I got to meet Gino Blafari out at the pool at uh, Caesars Palace. They, yep. they rented out the entire pool from 7.30 to 10. Um, and it was a blowout. <laughs> it was, it it was, was so blowout. much fun. Uh, I mean, that was they did it right. There was food everywhere. They had bars everywhere. Um, so hang on. we got to talk, uh, <laughs> <laughs> gotta talk about the mermaid for just a I second, guys. This is going to come up. <laughs> So we roll in and our buddy Mike, <laughs> we roll in and he's right there next to us and we're talking and everything, Mike Plum from Trinity. And uh, and so, you know, we, we're talking and everything and we look around and all of a sudden we look around and Mike, Justin, Justin, <laughs> Mike says, Justin, we look around and he's standing over there by a mermaid and the mermaid's waving at us from in the pool. So and picture, it's like, it's like high 40s, right? That, the weather outside was really chilly last which night. which is never like that in Vegas. Yeah. And, and this, this poor lady, there, obviously there's like circus acts all around the pool, like, you know, fire breathers, that kind of whole thing. Yeah. And then this, this mermaid was in the pool and I was like, my God, that's got to be cold. But Mike's over there calling me hey. to go, look, there's a, there's a mermaid in the pool. I, it was, it was, he knew her name. By the time we walked over there, we weren't there five minutes. He knew her <laughs> name and I don't think it was her stage name of whatever it was. He's over there talking to her. Hey guys, this is so and so and what? And I was like, Are you oh, kidding me, Mike? That was one of the funnier moments. Uh, I had an absolute blast at that party. Oh, what a good time. Um, so I bumped into people last night. You know, people that I knew from uh, from Georgia. I bumped into. So I saw one of them walking by. I saw her husband walking by, and I was like, I think that. And I walk over and I say, and I say, Hey to Hey to him for just a second. And and, uh, and then ten minutes later, I see somebody else that I knew that was a that was you know a competitor. It's a small town, so it wasn't really like we were competitors, but said hey to him it was just great it was it was such a, a, a fabulous atmosphere such a good time like food was incredible just yep. like it's been the whole time yep and uh and and walking around and and you know played roulette after that with the team and oh good stuff i'm better at real estate than i am at gambling i can tell you that can i get an amen from the crowd yeah yeah i don't know i'm like i'm like so conservative when it comes to that i'm like a scaredy cat when it comes to gambling but uh yeah. you know like I, i'm I Somehow we got you unnerved enough so that you would go ahead and gamble. Though. I know, I know. So I, I was having fun with it, but I like to like just like kind of dip my toe in there. I mean, yeah. I, I enjoy it for the social, you know, right. aspect oh, yeah. of it because yeah. we had all of 
the Florida Properties Group people. I mean, we, we had, had like, a group a of like 15. We, yeah, they opened up a table for us, so, so that was pretty neat. Late. Yeah, that was that was a good time. Yeah, so that, I mean, uh, what other experience? I tell you what, Las Vegas brings out some strange people. It does. Um, I mean that in the nicest way possible, but right. man, I tell you what. There's people celebrating here. their individuality here. Well, there's one guy who walks around in Chewbacca costume, and Matt brought up a great point earlier. It's got to smell wonderful. <laughs> Just, I mean, it's it's a little chilly out here right now. I mean, but it's it probably full-blown Chewbacca. So, it, I mean, it's <laughs> and he wears it during the summer for this, I'm sure. So, I can't even imagine that his, chewy head that you put on and just his pitch is that he gives you a prop, and then once he gives you that prop, he's he wants you to take a picture with him, and then you got to charge you for the thing. So. Uh, uh, Chewy, you know. Hey, even Chewy's got to eat. <laughs> entrepreneur. <laughs> hey, right. shoot, he's an entrepreneur. He's a businessman. Right. Maybe he's going to listen to the podcast. That's right. I don't he's know. Gonna, hey, he's going to learn something if he does. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. going to learn something if he does. So, all right, so so next year, where are we going? Nashville, baby. I'm so psyched oh, about man. that. I am a country music sucker. In fact, in a week, I'm going to see Eric Church in Chicago with some oh, wow. friends and my that wife. Is. I'm really excited about that. That's such a good time. Man, oh, man. Such a good time. Yep, yep. So what we've got to what we got to do is we got to plan ahead so that whenever we're out doing the podcast out there, we got to meet up with some people, uh, maybe some locals that we uh, that we can connect with in the real estate market. There, entrepreneurs, and definitely. So if uh, if you're listening to this podcast and you want to be on it when we're in Nashville next year, give us a holler. We'll get something set up. We'll get you. We'll get you taken care of. A year from now, we'll have a probably a pretty good little viewership. I'm hoping yeah, yeah, we're gonna have going. some killer killer guests. Matt and I have going. been working really really hard. Um, on scheduling guests on a weekly basis so these next couple weeks we're gonna have some pretty interesting guests um, we had one commitment that I am really yeah. excited about I don't want to give it yeah, away right now yeah don't don't but yeah. I am super pumped about this guy he will be fantastic uh, yeah 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 fantastic so I mean I, I think and he's that used that's to, awesome. and he's used to talking to people he's used to connecting with people he's, he's a big name so yeah he's, he's famous let's just put it that way yeah more famous than us yeah that's right so far <laughs> So far, yeah. All so right. what are we? Uh, what are we doing tonight? I mean, I'm exhausted, but I still got to put this thing into overdrive. Oh yeah. Well, we're you know gonna go I mean? power nap in just a minute. Yep. Power nap. Recharge the batteries, right. and then um, maybe get a glass of whiskey. One. Just one. To Two start. might be too much. To start. Maybe right. a Coors Light. There we go. All right. So one takeaway that you that you know going back to the office that's going to help somebody in the office or help the whole office. What is the and and let's don't talk about the marketing tools and all those things. Okay, that, that they just launched and the right. database and all that. Right. What's the one thing that you heard in one of the sessions that that you know you're going to be able to drop a drop on somebody and they're going to be like, holy crap, that's a game changer. So I'm going to bring it back to the the communication session that I sat yeah. on. Yeah. Um, that storytelling thing. I mean, I have I have an entire probably hour presentation that I'm going to be doing at my office uh, based on that communication thing yeah. and and trying to get my agents to better understand that whole process. And um, you know what? Uh, I'm inspired because it. You know, you and I are, are very similar in the sense that you know we always want to get better daily. Right. You know, yeah, every yeah. moment we got to get better and we got to get be you know be a better person. But and we want um, to take people along with us. Yeah, exactly. That's why we're doing this. Yep. Um, but this is this has really inspired me to, to try to want to push the envelope. It, it's nice to see, like I said in the beginning, the other brokerages and see what they're doing because that just fires me up because I'm a competitor at, at, at heart. Oh yeah. Um, and so when I see these other brokerages banging out, like and they're you not said, as cool as us. No, hell no. Come I mean, on. let's be honest. Yeah, yeah. We're we're really cool. I we mean, are we're cool. sitting at a pool right now underneath the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. And we brought it into your living room. Yeah. Or your so. kitchen, or your car, or wherever you're looking. At. What's your takeaway? Uh, I think one of the I think one of the biggest things was database. I worked pretty hard with my with my peeps on database. Yep. And uh, and uh, I'm actually going to push that a, a little bit harder. Uh, you know, when he was talking about the disruptors, you know, one of the main things that you know that he said, and you know we, you know we talked about this, and I'll use a little visual really quick because he was kind of discussing this today. You know, here's when the person really starts their transaction, and here's when they close it. Right. And what's happened in between then? Back in the old days, they would connect with us along the way, and then when he, we, we'd help them. Now what's happening is they're getting diverted over to, over to someone else that doesn't have their best interest in mind. Right. They have the interest of selling their information to somebody else, and hopefully that person will bump into the right person. Interesting. So I know that the biggest thing for me is having my people, because I only hire people that care, having my people 
connect with their database on a level and let them know that it's not just about the houses. It's about, you know, if they want investment properties, if they want to, you know, if they need that to, to, they're doing something with title and they need stuff notarized, come in the office. I mean, right. we, got, we got all of that stuff at your fingertips. I, I want, my, I want my, my folks connected with their database because I don't want them getting off that track. Right. I want them staying connected with, with those people for life. It's, yeah. it's about forever, right? That's huge. You're going to be hearing more about forever, by the way. Yeah, there's a lot of cool ads coming out. And I, I tell you, I am, you know, my only exposure to Berkshire Hathaway Home Services has really been um, on a Florida Properties Group level at a, at a brokerage level because I've only been with the company, um, oh my God, two years now, Yeah. which is crazy. But right. this is my first national conference and I've always liked the brand for many reasons, for many obvious reasons, but I fell in love with the, br the brand this weekend. Yeah. And um, it really, it, it fires me up to know that we have the people behind the scenes doing what they're doing. And um, I appreciate the brand even more now for, for totally different reasons. Yeah. And, and I think that's pretty neat. And you know, whenever, uh, whenever Warren Buffett talks about Berkshire Hathaway being forever, he's not kidding. Yeah. I mean, he's he's planning for it to be as much of forever as something can possibly be. I want Warren Buffett to be forever. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be nice. That'd <laughs> that guy's be nice. a genius. He is brilliant. Okay. All right. Well, so guys, we got to go nap. <laughs> as, as always, it's it's fantastic. We're glad we could uh, we're glad we could talk to you. More to come next week. We appreciate you tuning in to Brokers Open Podcast. And and before we cut out, one last thing here. Paul Media, Paul Media, man, you guys are you guys are fantastic. Yeah, you know, there's uh, so there's some things going on during the conference, and they were saying, hey, y'all got to make sure you do this, make sure you check in with that the whole time. They're just helping keep me on track with what we need to do to make sure this is being delivered to you the way it needs to be. Yeah, and I know they're doing that with us because we're we're clients of theirs. Yeah, and and but I also know they're doing it with with the people that they're helping out day to day, man. Yeah, it just all it's really done, Paul Media in relation to what, what we're learning at the conference is, is that you're still delivering that same value and all you're trying to do with Palm Media or what Palm Media does for you is show off the individual. That's right. And I really saw that this week and, and they really show the individual off. The guy's running over there. Yeah, put, put some clothes on, <laughs> put some clothes on. But um, Glad the camera's facing this way, you're welcome. Yeah. Paul Media, <laughs> Paul Media just just shows off the individual, and and really that's that's what I'm gonna you know focus on a lot with not only you know our business, yeah. our office, but you know everyone's unique. Everyone has their own uh, way of doing things, and there's no right or wrong way of doing it. But you know, last, personalized. Last little thing. So so we know we're lucky to have Paul Media, right? Yeah. All right. So I, I bumped into a couple of people that I know and had some conversations with them and they said, hey, what, what do you got going and all that kind of stuff and everything. And, and towards the end of it, one of them mentioned the Brokers Open podcast. Oh, really? Yeah. And, uh, and I said, yeah, yeah. I said, yeah, we love it. And, and Palm Media helps, it helps out. And they said, yeah, I know about, you know, I, I saw the intro or whatever and everything. What do they what do? They do? And, I said, uh, and I said, they help who you are and who your agents are be put on display through social media. They're, they're a boutique media company for uh, for agents and uh and the next thing out of their mouth was well have them give me a call yeah and i want to that you just brought up a, a really cool point i don't mean to cut you off no, but it's all good. um you just reminded me of something so i had a friend of mine that was a friend in high school that i had kind of lost touch with he reached out to me and said that these podcasts um, are are hitting him on a deep level, and it's making him. He had he owns his own business. He um, he went it. through some really really hard times with him I and his it. family. Um, this, it's a unique story and background, but it really touched me to understand that that people are actually getting something out of this because he Agreed. he was he was in tears telling me um, that we're awesome. we're providing value. And you know what? You know this this might not be for everybody, and that's fine. But um, that one story, That's right. I could record every week for the rest of my life, and I'm okay with that one, one story, story being Absolutely. the success because Absolutely. that's what this is about. And um, that really, really fired me up. And, and shout out to Corey um, for sending me that, man. I, I, I'm, I'm honored that you that you look at this that way, and, I, and I'm honored to uh, to be a role model in a certain sense. And uh, you know, we're just normal guys trying trying to make it work too. So I appreciate you, brother. We, we just want, so in, in a broker's position, you know, we get to deal with a lot of the problems, a lot of the headaches, and we get from a, from a high level to look at, you know, the agents are duking it out on a day-to-day -day basis with, right. the, uh, with, with what's going on in the transaction. Yeah. We get to help them with the stuff that 
they need help with. So it, unfortunately, it teaches us to be really good at the problem solving part. Yeah, but you see it from top down. It's yeah. like you know, you see the game as a coach as opposed to right, as you know, yeah, right, swinging the bat. Yeah, and uh, and so we love that, and we want to pass that on. That's why it's called Brokers Open. So yeah, anything absolutely. we can do, right? Absolutely. Reach out to us if you've got if you've got guests that you want to be on here. If there's topics you want us to touch on, absolutely let us know. Reach out to us. We'll we'll make sure we get them out there. Okay. Yeah. Appreciate right. you guys. Thank you. Thank Power you for watching. Time. Matt, always a pleasure, bro. <laughs> right. See you guys. See ya.